stop scrolling if you think ai automation is expensive then this video was created specifically for you there's a system that can generate images at massive scale with just one click no upgrades no pro plans no limits no free trials and no running out of credits in the next few minutes i'll show you how to mass produce hundreds of ai images for free in bulk and with just one click without paying for any overpriced tools your favorite gurus keep promoting to you i would also show you how to generate consistent images using this method without stress or technical edits pay close attention and don't skip any part of this video because once you understand how this tool works you can apply them to any niche and any channel of your choice this method is fast repeatable and runs easily in the background and storytelling channels like this are raking in thousands of views for every single upload using systems like this to make their workflow easier welcome back to zara studios your go-to channel for trending ai tools and smart content strategies if you're new here, consider subscribing because lots of value awaits you. And if you're a returning subscriber, you are my real MVP. Now, let's dive in. Now, go to your Google Chrome browser and type in the word Chrome Web Store. Once you're here, click on the very first option. In the search bar, type in AutoWhisk. This is the particular extension I'm talking about. Click on Add to Chrome and you see this instruction here just click on add extension and voila this extension has automatically been added onto your chrome browser you see it at the top right corner right here you can pin it onto your extension dashboard if you want to launch this click on the extension at the top right corner and click on auto whisk it will open the first thing you will notice is that this platform is not in english now click on the top here and change it to English language. Now we understand what we are saying. Click on Whisk AI at that particular place. It will launch the Whisk platform for you to sign in. So use any of your Gmail to sign in. Click on enter tool and you'll be welcome here. Just cancel this. And this is the home page of Whisk. Now go to this particular settings and click on precise reference and select your desired aspect ratio once that is done now let's go to our prompt to generate our story this is my story prompt here you'll find this in my telegram channel link in the description i'll copy the story prompt paste it in chat and click on enter and within few seconds chat generates an amazing story idea for me that involves just two people and it is simple and interesting so copy the story idea come here and click on this classic version now paste in your prompt right here you can use a prompt list you can also import a text file so i'm just going to paste in my prompt here and i click on start now click on create new project once that is done within a few seconds auto whisk begins to generate your images for you in bulk without you doing anything extra all you have to do is make sure that you do not close this page it's going to keep generating until it's done you will see the progress bar at the right hand side and once it is done generating the number of images all those images will be downloaded automatically into a folder on your computer and that is amazing as you can see, all those images are beautiful, but they do not come with consistent character, consistent style, or consistent lighting. That is what happens when you just copy your story idea and dump it on auto -whisk. Now to generate our character prompt, go back to my prompt in my Telegram channel, copy it and take it to ChatGPT, paste it right here and click on enter. It will give you a detailed prompt for each of the character in your story. Now we're just going to copy each of this character prompt one after the other and take it to whisk to generate our characters. Now grab the first image prompt, bring it to whisk and paste it right here. Click on generate and it generates this for us. Once the image is generated, go to the left hand side 
click on this arrow here and it's going to open this now drag the first character to the subject box and click on add to add a new character come back to your ChatGPT and copy the second image prompt and take it back to whisk now deselect the very first character make sure it is not selected delete the previous prompt and paste the new prompt click on enter and it will generate our very second character for us i don't like this so i regenerated so i prefer this so i'm just going to drag this into the second subject box right there and that is fine now let's go back to chatgpt to get our style reference prompt this will be the backbone of our reference and it will generate only images related to this particular thing for us make sure you unselect the previous images and then paste it click on generate and we have this so i'm going to pick this one right here and drag it to the style drag it there and paste it on the style reference now that we've gotten the backbone of our images go back to my prompt and copy the image scene prompt and take it to ChatGPT, paste it right there and this will give you a detailed image prompt scene by scene well laid out and well labeled this labeling will help you arrange your images in ascending order for easy editing now copy this from scene one to the very last scene and bring it back here now delete the previous message that is there and paste your new prompt before you click on start go back to the left hand side and make sure that all the images that we generated has been selected now click on start and click on run on this project that is the exact one you should click click on run on this project and as you can see our bulk image generation has started in consistent character how amazing is that look at that look at that the images are consistent the characters are consistent the style is consistent it is maintaining the 3d animation character style and this is super amazing just like before all these images will be automatically downloaded onto your device in a particular folder so you don't have to stress yourself downloading the images one after the other now go to your computer and go to your downloads you see the whisk download folder and these are all the images it has generated for us and the images are arranged sequentially you can see the numbers one after the other this makes it easy for us when we want to edit our videos now go back to my prompt and grab the voiceover prompt take it to chatgpt paste it right there and chatgpt is going to narrate this story for us and we'll be able to use this as a voiceover for our story so click on copy and we'll add on to google ai studio this is a 100 percent free audio generator click on turn text into audio and come here click on single audio listen to any of the voices make sure you select the one that you like once that is done paste in your script right here and click on run once the audio is ready play it if you like it just click on the three dots beside the microphone icon and then click on download and this will download automatically onto your device now go to your video editor i'm going to be using CapCut. click on import and go to your device and import all the images that we've generated once that is imported begin to drag and drop the first couple of scenes into your timeline now click on import again to bring in our audio and select the audio right there click on open and it will import drag and drop your audio into your timeline and begin to play this and listen to the audio while you edit the images to match the audio one after the other to improve audience retention you might need to click on transition and add transition in between 
each of the clips. This helps you engage and retain your audience so that the images in your video will not just be static. Once you're done with all the editing, click on export at the top right corner, give your file a name and then export your video. If you would love a much more engaging video, you can convert your images into animations. Go to grog.com, sign up, click on imagine at the left hand side, upload your image, any of your images. Once that is uploaded, come to the bottom right corner and click on image here, change it to video and choose your desired aspect ratio. You can allow Grog animate it for you without you imputing a prompt. And this is what Grog generated for us. I prefer the second version. So I'm just going to click on, I prefer this and it will bring it to my timeline and I can play it and see what it sounds like. You can click on the download button right here to download this onto your device. And if you don't like this, just go back to your prompt, your image prompt and copy the prompts, copy the prompt, attach your image again and paste in your prompt right here. Then you click on enter and it will generate your images according to your prompt. And this is super fantastic. You take this back onto your video editing app and then add it to your story. You can add it in between your stories and you can decide to animate your character from beginning to the very end. And as you can see, it is animated and this is quite more engaging than static images with transition. Once you're done with all these, export your video and upload it to any platform of your choice and you are good to go. If you would like me to show you how to use this exact system on your mobile phone, then let me know in the comment section and I'll cover it in my next video. I'm sure you got value from this video, so do well to like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, drop your questions in the comments. I always read and respond to all my comments. Before you go, do well to check out some of my previous videos and you definitely won't be disappointed. Till I come your way next time, I remain your girl Zara and I'll see you in my next video.